Hi, my name is Atiya Tahiri. I am a PhD student working in the perceptual engineering lab in the CS department at UCSB, and I'm excited to present our work on designing a first-person shooter game for quadriplegics like me. In this talk, I will invite you to the problem identification, a proposed solution, and strategies for making it work. Despite the technological advances, video gaming still requires motor skills to use traditional game inputs, making them inaccessible to people with mobility issues. So we thought, why not use the muscles that they can control voluntarily? And from there, we came up with the idea of facial expressions to control the game, based on which we built our system. We created our system with one case study. I was the subject of this study because I've been affected by SMA ever since I was a child. The picture is of me for the test in our day. Here is an overview of our pipeline. Our primary input method that is detected by a camera is the user's face. We process the video in real time using open face 2.0. Our secondary input method is a speech which we convert to text using Google's Cloud Speech API. The outputs from open face and speech recognition that are facial action units or AUs and text are mapped to the keyboard and each key is then mapped to an action in the video game. To test our input system, we built a desktop FPS game in Unreal Engine. For the facial input, open face detects AUs from the input video. AUs refer to facial muscle movements. We define six facial expressions derived from AUs in our system, each of which is mapped to a certain action in the game. Under each face, we can see the corresponding mappings. As a secondary input, we added a speech recognition using real cell out a speech API. The user's voice command is instantly converted to text, then checked for specific words such as pause or jump. But we noticed a delay with the speech in an FPS game. So we use it only to reload the title's weapon, to pause the game, and to navigate menus. We created a customization interface by which we let the user adjust the sensitivity of the system. Once the user selects the type of AU detection, depending on their choice, the next step can be adjusting the detection threshold. All changes take effect immediately. To burst out of the system to the player's strength, the system was designed in an iterative way. We considered the frequency of actions. For example, for the repetitive actions, we used facial expressions I was most comfortable with. Multimodal input and feedback was considered since response time can vary from one video game to the next. So relying on a single input can limit the types of interactions. Ultimately, we designed the game to provide a fun and flexible gaming experience for everyone. Series of playtesting iterations revealed some challenges that needed to be addressed. Cutting zombie movement speed and number in half or auto aiming for shooting are some of the many configurations we made. Additionally, for turning the title left and right, we employed facial expressions to operate as a title. To make the game more exciting, we scattered health and ammo pickups around the map and created timed pickups so that zombies get killed after one shot instead of seven. We also use some action by down music to create tension. I invite you to watch a short demo of playing our FPS game. Option one. In this work, 
We designed a facial expression recognition based game controller for quadrupedologists. It has a customization interface so people have different abilities can use it. It was a co-creation approach with one test study. We designed a desktop FPS game for playtesting, emphasizing user agency, user comfort, memorability, and ease of use. Thank you.